Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll talk you through the 7 essentials that you need in your wardrobe and well there's no better time to do it than Cyber Week and Black Friday. Most of the items that I show you in this video are already gonna be discounted or are to be discounted further on in the week. I'll be linking down below all the items that I show in the video so if you do like anything just go to the description box and it's going to be there. So. Without further ado, let's go into it. So, of course, we're starting with the most basic one and that's an everyday coat. I believe that everyone needs to have one everyday coat that they can wear with whatever, whenever. It needs to be good quality to keep you warm and yeah, it just needs to go together with everything in your wardrobe. So, for that reason, I bought for myself that mango coat, it's from a previous collection, I got it from Brand Dali, but I've seen that they have done an almost similar design for the, from this year's collection, so I believe it's a really nice pick. It has around 60-70% wool in it, so it does keep very warm, and also it does have like that bit for the collar like it wraps up like that and that's the best thing ever actually that's what drove me towards that coat i was like ah i need to have it because i'm like my neck is always cold and that just saves me so yeah everyday coat is number one on the list another coat that i believe you need to have is an out there coat or a jacket whatever you prefer but for me is a coat and it's definitely this one it's a faux fur coat from h&m if you have seen my h&m haul i've showed it there if you haven't i'll link the haul down below so you can see all the pieces that i've got but yes that one is an amazing coat it makes you stand out wherever you go well you look like a tiny teddy bear but well i don't know it's just the most amazing coat ever it's not for every day though because i, I tend to not wear it when it's raining outside because it's still fall for but it does keep me very warm so whenever it's really cold outside i put this one on and it's amazing it doesn't go it doesn't always go with everything i would say but it's a really nice statement piece that i believe you need to have in your wardrobe and yeah since i bought it i've been wearing it quite quite a lot for different occasions i really do recommend it second on my list is a very good scarf it really depends on what you like for a uh, winter time you need a scarf I cannot say it like enough yeah if i'm wearing a blouse that's like has a v-neck or something i always tend to put on scarf while i'm outside this one is a very very old scarf from massimo dutti it's 100 percent wool and it's amazing it keeps you so warm and cozy the whole time i would really recommend it i'll link down below some of the things they have from the new collection which is also going to be discounted tonight they'll have i believe 20 percent discount the other scarf that i'm using at the moment it was actually a present it was from Bulgaria. It's a very long scarf that, to be honest, when I'm very very cold, I just I just tend to transform it into a blanket. I don't do that like everywhere, but yeah, I just find it really cozy when you have like a really long scarf that you can just wrap around you. But but if you actually prefer a classic scarf, Burberry is always a nice go-to scarf. But if you're like me and you don't have that amount of money, I wouldn't suggest buying it. I have a really nice alternative instead. If you're in the UK, Scotland specifically, you've probably seen all the scarves that they sell in the Scottish shops. I'm talking about the tartan scarves, which have a very similar pattern. Yeah, like the Burberry scarf is made in Scotland. In those Scottish shops, you can find very nice alternatives for like 100% cashmere scarves and instead of them being 350 pounds you can find them for like 140 150 which is still too much but it's still a big difference than the Burberry scarf or if you don't have that amount of money you can always buy I've seen recently that they sell them for like between 20 and 50 pounds with a cashmere and wool blend which is really nice as well it's still going to keep you warm and cozy throughout the winter next item is a very important one for me and that's boots 
are specifically over the knee boots. I've been on the hunt for ages and I finally found those S. Oliver over the knee boots, which are really nice. You can see like, you can just like tie them at the back of your leg and they have a zip for an easy access. So I'll definitely link them down below for whoever is interested. But yeah, they are really comfortable, uh, they don't slide down your leg and they're perfect if you would like to wear something shorter um, for example a skirt or a skirt they're perfect for winter time so yeah those are the ones that I do recommend they're not real leather but they're still really nice, comfortable and they do keep you warm I have another pair that I bought there from Tommy Hilfiger it, and it's a pity that they don't fit me they're like a 3.5 UK size and I'm a 4 and when I tried them on they were okay but my leg tends to be a little bit bigger at that part like it tends to be a bit wider than the normal like one of my legs is different, different than the other for some reason but yeah you can see they're uh, they have a pointy toe which restricts me from using them even though they are so so amazing you can see they are like over the knee full leather Tommy Hilfiger boots and yeah it's such a pity I'm actually selling them on my Depop page so if you'd like to check it out I'll be listing it down below and also I'm doing a 10% discount for cyber week so if you're interested you can hop on my depot page as well and the last pair of boots that i'll show you is from zara and it's this little lace-up boots which to be honest i saw from freddy my love if anybody that's watching that video is watching her as well i've seen her wearing them so many times that meant for me that they're really comfortable and she really does know what she's speaking about so i bought them and i couldn't be happier they have a slight heel like the heel is not too big but it's enough so it can give you that nice silhouette but it's a round block heel which it ma which makes it really easy to actually walk on like the full day and yeah I've, I've been wearing them so so much i usually can't walk on high heels so that's the best alternative it's a high heel and it's a comfortable high heel so i'll be listing them down below if you would like to check them out hopefully there's gonna be discount on them as well the next essential thing that, sh that everybody must have in their wardrobe is of course a hat or in my case a headband I recently purchased those and they're, they've been saving my life honestly I hate cold and I can't really stand it so I bought one and I saw how cozy it is, how nice it is and then I bought another two so yeah that's that's one of them, I I am just in love with it, it keeps you very warm and I do I do feel like it makes you a little more, a little bit more stylish as well. So a headband like that I believe it's the, the ultimate pick for winter. Like I have also some heads as well, but let's say whenever you have like your hair tight in a bun or in a ponytail, they are rather useless. So this this thingy you can wear in all occasions but yeah if you prefer a hat like there are different options and yeah but in my case I really like the headband so that's why I'll be listing them down below I got them all from H&M like this one is so cute and this one I bought from H&M as well and it's been so amazing that's actually a wool and alpaca blend so it makes, if you're in a warm place, it makes you boil. So when you go and it's like minus 5 degrees, you're feeling nice and cozy. So next on my list is a really good turtleneck. Here I have a jumper that I bought from Zara and it has a turtleneck and it's the comfiest thing in the world, honestly. It just like hugs your neck. Actually the jumper that I'm wearing at the moment it's also from Zara and I love it that much that I bought it in beige color as well and yeah I believe you always need to have at least few turtlenecks or high neck jumpers so yeah if you have like if your coat is like open and it has like a v-neck 
kind of shape it's really nice to have a high neck jumper because it keeps you warm in every situation another thing that's not very standard but i really think it is an essential is a really good pair of sunglasses i don't believe that sunglasses are only for the summer well it depends i have pink sunglasses that i do believe are only for summer i got sunglasses from Tiffany and they've been amazing and I just believe they make every outfit more stylish I use them in winter as much as I use them in summer so I bought myself these ones but you can have a check they're a bit more expensive but keep in mind that you'll be wearing it for the next five or six years so it's good to invest in a piece that will look stylish and you can wear it both during summer and winter and it will just look amazing the last winter essential that I'll show you is something that's very 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 important for me and it's because I've spent like 80% of my time wearing that and that's fuzzy socks or any type of wintery nice socks so yeah, that's, that's usually a very good present as well because people are gonna use them no matter what. I haven't bought any new ones this year because I hope I will receive them for Christmas. So I'll, I'll go through different websites and I'll link down below the ones that I think are the best. And usually they're not very expensive either and it's something that you can always, always wear and you feel nice and cozy and warm in your home. It just gives you that Christmassy vibe. And that was all for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and that you found something that you'd like. And if you have and if you've reached till that point of the video, please like and subscribe or leave a comment of whatever you would like to see next. And I'll see you again next week or later on this week. Bye!